at a factory meeting last week at the Zwickau plant in Germany. Management of Volkswagen Saxony announced that 270 workers at the EV plant would lose their jobs. In addition, 2,200 of the total 11,000 employees are expected to lose their jobs. Three years ago, the Zwickau plant was converted into Europe's first purely electric car factory. In addition to Volkswagen models ID3, ID4 and ID5, the Audi Q4 e-tron and the Q4 Sportback e-tron, as well as the Cooper Born, are produced there. At the time, the Volkswagen Group and the state government, plus IG Metal Union, basically the union for automotive employees in Germany, claimed that secure jobs would be created and a prosperous future of climate-friendly mobility was on the horizon. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. This is the greatest disruption in mankind. In mankind's history, the disruption of the automotive industry is the greatest economic transformation that we've ever seen. I'm not talking about my lifetime. I'm talking about the lifetime of humanity. It sounds crazy, but the truth is that the automotive industry supports the entire German economy. And right now, it's in crisis. For weeks, the IG Metal Union Council representatives have been negotiating with Volkswagen managers behind closed doors about the extent to which shifts will be cut and when and how many workers will see their jobs removed. The workforce and the workers concerned are to be presented with a fate accompli so that it is too late for them to act against it. Saxony State Minister of Economic Affairs Martin Dulig, Social Democrat Party, unintentionally admitted that the workforce was being deceived by politics and trade unions. It is a serious situation, he said, adding he had been in contact with the Works Council for several weeks. Workers say they have the right to know what the future holds for them, and they're not being told the truth by Volkswagen. All restructuring and downsizing plans must be disclosed immediately. And this comes amidst massive investment by the Volkswagen Group in China. Unions and staff at the Volkswagen plants in Germany are concerned. They believe the Volkswagen Group's plan is to start selling EVs made in China in Europe instead of EVs made in Germany. The reason? Much cheaper to manufacture them in China. Volkswagen cites the current market situation as the reason for the cuts and the pause in production at two different factory locations. High inflation and declining subsidies meant electric vehicle buyers were holding back, say Volkswagen. Since the state funded subsidies have been sharply reduced and in some cases completely abolished, new orders have been falling rapidly. Nearly 70% of newly registered electric cars were for commercial customers. Now this comes amidst incredible boom in EV sales. In fact, EV sales have increased by 170% in the last two months in Germany. But Volkswagen's management decided to cut and cancel the new Trinity program that former CEO Herbert Diess decided the company needed to actually embark on in order to compete with Tesla and BYD. The CEO, the former CEO of the group, decided that the group needed its, its own dedicated EV platform, which was going to be a much better version of its current MEB platform. However, the company officially announced one week ago that Trinity was dead. Why? Well, I'm not sure, but we do know that in that period of time, the Volkswagen Group have actually bought into using three different Chinese-made electric car platforms from Leap Motor, Xpeng and Chinese government owned SAIC. At the factory meeting in Zwickau, Volkswagen management sought to placate workers, claiming sales figures would rise again next year. Workers do not share this optimism. Since even the smallest Volkswagen electric model, the ID3, costs around 40,000 euros, it's unaffordable for many, many buyers. In China, it costs 16,000 US dollars or 15,000 euros. Under these conditions to achieve the profit increases decided Volkswagen needed, a veritable massacre of jobs, wages, and working conditions 
is about to take place. There is no way this can be achieved by further state subsidies alone, which Volkswagen is demanding from the German government. Such measures are rather meant to be keep. The workforce believes that the measures Volkswagen is putting in place are intended to simply keep the workforce quiet. In reality, the Volkswagen Group, just like other legacy car companies, is using the conversion from combustion to EVs as an opportunity to reduce costs and cut tens of thousands of jobs in Europe. Volkswagen wants to earn 10 billion euros more in 2026 than it does this year. It has to because it plans on borrowing 200 billion US dollars when it already has 185 billion in debt. That would make it the most indebted company in the history of mankind. In order for the company to achieve this, the performance program of Volkswagen and IG Metal envisages a doubling to tripling of current returns. Not really likely to be possible in my opinion, but what do you think? The workforce, the workforce has not yet received any information on how many and which jobs will fall victim to the cuts program, but they're very concerned jobs are going to China. The events of the last week show where Volkswagen is headed though. Jobs are not only being cut in Zwickau and Dresden, production of electric cars, the ID4, the ID7, and the ID3 have been shut down as well. 300 of 1,500 temporary workers will no longer be employed from August. Short time work has become the norm. There is no Volkswagen plant that is not currently being affected by changes. At Volkswagen's Cassell plant in Bormont, Bornatal, the assembly lines are being partially shut down, affecting almost 3,500 workers. Shifts are being cancelled in Osnabrück. At Volkswagen's plant in Portugal, a nine-week production freeze has been imposed since last week. As a result, 300 workers and those on fixed-term contracts have lost their jobs. Thousands of workers in supplier companies in the industrial area in Palmolven in Poland are now dependent on welfare benefits because the Volkswagen Group is not paying them any wages. At Volkswagen's main plant in Wolfsburg, where mainly Golf and Tiguan models are built, short-time work has been introduced. And according to a Volkswagen spokesperson, all four assembly lines have been affected. Media in Germany say the Wolfsburg plant, Volkswagen's biggest, could come to a complete standstill in October. Last Wednesday, CEO Oliver Bloom announced that the originally planned state-of-the-art dedicated factory for the Trinity series at the headquarters in Wolfsburg will not be part of Volkswagen's plans for the future. It has officially been cancelled. The Trinity platform was to be built at Volkswagen's existing plant in Wolfsburg, but not for several years. Using existing capacity at the Wolfsburg plant, which has currently been converted to parallel electric car production, everything is now completely up in the air. Workers just don't know what's going on. The question also arises with the priority has been given to Wolfsburg at the expense of the Zwickau plant. This is what employees are saying. Does Volkswagen plan on completely closing the Zwickau plant or the Emden plant? Why are the Works Councils and IG Metal silent? What do they know? Have they already made a decision? Now Volkswagen's Works Council is demanding more information on the cost cutting and efficiency drive being drawn up for the automaker's core passenger cars, saying employees need more transparency. They need to know if they'll have a job next week. Volkswagen Group, whose brands include Bentley, Audi, Skoda, Seat Cupra, and Lamborghini is in the midst of a, of a strategy shift aimed at proving to investors it can protect its market share in the transition to EVs, particularly those of its mass market brands. Volkswagen, though, cut its sales targets in July and said performance programs must begin yielding results this year to cope with rising competition, particularly competition in China, where historically the group has made 50% of its profits and 40% of its worldwide sales. But it's under attack in China from all angles. Tesla, BYD, Aon, many car companies are actually targeting Volkswagen directly. Speaking to workers on Tuesday, Volkswagen brand chiefs 
Chief Thomas Schaefer said a fully fledged package would be ready in the autumn and presented to the Works Council in coming weeks, adding many employees had made good suggestions. Now, it sounds to me as though Volkswagen is getting ready to remove thousands of jobs, but we don't know what those jobs are yet. Schaefer was reported to have warned workers from all around the globe in July that the Volkswagen brand's roof was on fire. Amid slower than expected demand, subdued consumer confidence and rising competition. He said it was the last wake up call. Now, the media is really focusing here on how the Volkswagen Group is going in Europe, but Europe isn't their problem. Even the CEO said as much. He said the Chinese invasion of Europe is not happening in the way that it was planned because they're pricing the cars too high. And I think that's true. But here, the truth of the matter is, Volkswagen needs China and it's losing that market. Now, if you were to lose, if you were to say Apple was going to lose possibly 20 to 50% of its sales, then there would be enormous crisis talks going on at Apple. They'd be working out how can we change? What do we have to do? This is exactly what's going going on at the Volkswagen Group. But at least the Volkswagen Group is aware of what's happening. Companies like those in Japan seem to be pretending that none of this is happening. That electrification isn't completely disrupting the industry, and it is. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.